Okay, today we're going to talk about all the different types of energy that exist on Earth. And to start off with, we know that all energy on Earth comes from the sun. You learned that in biology last year. Once it gets to Earth, it can be converted into lots of different kinds of energy. We're going to talk about those kinds. Now, before you write anything down in your notebook, there's a little activity for you to do. It's called the story of energy. So either you've already grabbed your little picture cards or you may need to go back to the box to get the types of energy cards sheet. Um, and what you're going to do with this sheet, there's 10 little pictures on there. You're going to grab a pair of scissors and cut apart all those pictures. Then on the back of each picture, write it in pencil because you're probably going to want to change some of your answers. You're going to write what kind of energy do you think is being shown in that picture. Okay, just give it your best shot. I know that you haven't learned this before, so just kind of go off what you know from previous experiences and, and school. And then um, when you're done writing what type of energy you think is on the back um, of each card, you're just going to pile them up and hang on to them. And we'll come back to them later. Okay, so um, make sure you have the sheet. You can pause the video, um, take care of your story of energy. And then once your story is done, you can hit play again, and I'll give you some more information. Oops. All right, now we're just going to go over some of the types of energy that do exist on Earth. The first one being what's called thermal or heat energy. This type of energy is the type we measure when we're measuring temperature. And the main type of energy that we're talking about in this unit is thermal energy. The higher the temperature of something, the more thermal energy it has. Then the particles are moving faster. You feel it as warmth. The less energy that something has, the cooler the temperature will be. Another type of energy is chemical energy. And chemical energy is energy that's stored in the bonds of different um, molecules and compounds. So this happens when you eat food. The bonds that hold the atoms together in the food that you eat stores energy. When you eat that food, your body breaks those bonds. And when you break those bonds, you can release the energy that's stored in those bonds. Another example of chemical energy would be, <coughs> excuse me, um, in your car. You put gasoline in your car, and what your car does is it takes those molecules that are in the gasoline, and it breaks the bonds. When it breaks the bonds in the gasoline, the octane particles, um, those bonds release energy, and your car uses that energy to run all the systems, to run the engine, to help run the electrical and everything in there. So that all comes from chemical energy. Another type of energy is electrical energy. This happens when electrons are moving among the atoms of matter. Okay, We call that current. Free-flowing electrons create electrical current. And we use this all the time. The next one is light energy. Um, light energy is any visible light that you see. Uh, comes from the sun. We get our most of our visible light. But we also can create visible light with light bulbs. Um, if you have a bonfire, your bonfire not only gives off heat energy, thermal energy, it also gives off light energy. <coughs> Another type of energy is sound energy. And this comes from when those sound waves are traveling through the air, they actually will compress the air particles. Um, and you can almost feel this as wind sometimes. So um, if you've ever been to a concert or somewhere where they have really big speakers and you stand in front of the speaker, you can feel the sound waves coming off of that speaker. If you ride in a car with some big subs in the back, you can feel the sound energy coming out of there because it vibrates your whole car, and that's from those sound waves compressing the air as they move through it. Another type of energy is mechanical energy. And mechanical energy exists, um, it's just the energy of motion. All right, and so anytime you have anything that's moving, we call that mechanical energy. You're riding on your bicycle, you're turning the pedals, now your bike has mechanical energy. A hamster turning a wheel is giving that wheel mechanical energy. If you have a windmill that's being turned by wind, since the windmill is moving, it's creating mechanical energy. All right, 
now that you know the six types of energy and you've written them down in your notebook, I want you to go back to those, um, the energy story, and I want you to look on the back of your cards. Double check that what you wrote is the correct answer. Um, double check with your notes and with your partners to see that you got them all right. If you have any questions about any of them, let me know and I'll make sure to clarify. When you're all finished with your cards, ask Miss Bankston for a paper clip. We're just going to paper clip the cards to this page in your notebook so you can keep them and use them to help prepare for your quiz and your test. And that is all for this lesson. Let me know if you have any questions.